All right, listen, I am so angry right now. I do not have the words for a video opening. I don't even know what to say at this point. Xbox is a fucking joke, man. Like, this is a fucking joke. Are they fucking serious here? Like, we can pick holes in this fucking decision all fucking day. Why can't they do that? Why is Microsoft so incompetent with their fucking Xbox brand? What is the point in this shit? Why is this so fucking stupid? It hurts, okay? I've been subscribed to Xbox Gold for 17 years, right? And this, this is what they're doing now. Oh, okay. So now you're in Game Pass whether you like it or not. What? This is painful, man. So basically Game Pass is a failure. They've just now admitted Game Pass is a failure because they they have to put everybody that's subscribed to Xbox Live Gold into Game Pass, whether they like it or not, because it's all part of Game Pass now. So then when they go, oh, well, Game Pass membership is... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, Game Pass membership now equals everybody that plays online. Everybody that plays online on console is now in Game Pass, whether they want to be or not. So that's you're falsifying your fucking numbers. Let's have it right. Game Pass is a fucking failure. Stop fucking lying this is bullshit this is bullshit man okay if you're already a gold member or also member you don't need to take action i'm taking action all right i'm taking action against you frauds this is fraudulent okay all you're doing is changing the name of xbox live gold that's what you've done it still exists but you've just changed the name of it so you can put it into Game Pass. So you can falsify fucking numbers. That's what it's for. What? Why else would you change the name to Game Pass? Change it to something else. Oh no, it's got to be part of Game Pass. Because then you can fraudulently claim that, oh, everybody's in Game Pass now. What a fraudulent company. What a joke. That is fraudulent. That is fraudulent. Xbox Live Gold is not Game Pass. But now it is because you get 25 games. So it's technically you're getting Game Pass type. Uh, uh, you can't play online without the subscription. On console. It's fraudulent. If you want to see how good Game Pass really is. Make playing online on console free. If you want to see how m many subscriptions you can actually get. By trying to serve up subpar shitty games that no one even wants to play on your piece of shit service make online gaming free you do that and you're gonna lose millions of fucking subscriptions why because it's not about those piece of shit games they just need to be online if i didn't need to pay for online why would i be paying for a subscription you idiots made a deal where you could literally get the game pass for free when you already pay for gold so everybody did that. Everybody bought the gold codes and mine currently runs out in like 2025. Okay, I paid like 53 pounds or something because I got them off CD keys. I paid 53 pounds for three years Xbox got live uh, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I paid 53 pounds for three fucking years. And you're claiming like, oh, well, uh, Game Pass is, is doing brilliantly. Why? How is that how is that profitable to you? You're giving it away. You were giving it away. Game Pass has not had a test of whether people think it's value for money or whatever. Okay? Because everybody's doing the fucking bullshit what I'm doing and because we're already paying for gold. Who wants to pay for these shitty games? They're not even good. I still bought the Halo console so I ended up getting Halo anyway. I still end up buying these games that I actually like in the future anyway. I don't really even save any money. Like, at all. Game Pass fucking sucks. Gamers didn't want Game Pass in the first place. And there's no guarantee that this fucking model is even succeeding now. Okay? We all thought that, oh, well, movies and fucking music did it. And then games are going to do it. And it's going to kill fucking physical media. And yet... Nobody's fucking buying this shit because gamers want to own this shit. It's a very collectible thing, a game, unlike a fucking DVD or whatever. People collect for consoles. They collect fucking games, okay? That's a big part of it, 
right? More exclusive, the better, right? So that's a huge part of gaming. So then you go, oh, well, uh, we don't need that because we've got like 100 billion fucking games on Game Pass. Who wants to play fucking Grounded? No one cares about these piece of shit games, okay? Nobody cares about this. Nobody cares about this piece of shit service. You're not giving us anything. Look, literally, you're giving us like Fallout 4. Like, see, if you want to get Fallout 4, just go buy the disc. Or buy it the fucking... You just buy the game. Are you for real? This is unbelievable, man. This is unbelievable, man. Xbox Live Gold is becoming Game Pass Core. There you go. They say it right there. It's not anything different. You just change the name. So you could pretend that you're doing better with Game Pass. There you go. It's all smoke and fucking mirrors. This is the biggest load of bullshit in the history of fucking Xbox Live. Here's the list of games you're going to be getting. So forget your games with gold. They're gone. As of September, you're not getting any more fucking games. No games at all. Okay? They took the 360 games away. And then they took then now they're taking away the other games, right? Now it's not to say all these games are fucking brilliant and whatever. But 25 piece of shit games that rotate, you don't even keep. You don't keep these games. You keep the games from gold, games of gold. As long as you still subscribe, you keep the fucking games, right? And the 360 games, you just keep them regardless, right? And so, th- with these, you don't even keep them. So what's the logic here? Why would anybody praise this over the current system? What is better? Okay. So anybody that's anybody already owns either owns these the games that they want out of these, or or they can play them or whatever. Like that. Like, look at this. Okay, so Among Us. How much, how much does that game cost? How much does that game cost? It's the cheapest game in the world to buy. So why why is that, like, in there? Great value there. Dishonored 2 is an ancient game. Cheap as fuck. Doom Eternal has no value because it's in Game Pass anyway. You can get that cheap. Fable Anniversary, again, cheap game. Already, I already own it. Fallout 4, cheap. Already own it. Fallout 76, broken. No one wants to play it. Forza, Forza Horizon 4. I owned it and I sold it and it's not worth that much. Okay, has no value. Gears 5, currently on sale for £13 with all the DLC. Without the DLC, £6 on, on the Xbox Store. You can buy it today. It's on sale again today. If you want a disc, you can go get one for like £10 or whatever, right? None of these games have any value. Okay, whether they're good games, bad games, doesn't matter. They don't have any value. Grounded is a garbage game. Halo 5 Guardians is a garbage piece of shit game. There's no Halo Infinite in here. They don't even throw you that, okay? Halo Wars 2, okay, that's a that's a decent game. But again, you can go and buy that now with all the DLC, the Ultimate Edition. I don't know if that's actually in the sale. It was, it was in the sale last time for like less than 20 quid with all the content. This will just be the vanilla version. You don't even get all the content. And, and they're like, oh, so it's like five pounds here. That's the value of these games. Like all the games in fucking Game Pass, they have no fucking value. So you're not getting value for money. It'd be better to go and buy the games. It makes no sense. Like, Psychonauts 2, State of Decay 2, Elder Scrolls Online. This is ridiculous. This is a joke. Okay, so now because they're giving you a subscription service for games, now you're in Game Pass. So we can pretend to get people everyone subscribed to Game Pass. What if you just want to play online? Well, you have to buy this tier. Okay, and you never touch one of these fucking games. Or you do touch one of these fucking games, but you already fucking own the game. Oh, but you're still in Game Pass. 
Wait, you're still in Game Pass. It's the biggest load of bullshit going, man. I'm telling you now, this is the biggest load of bullshit they've come out with yet. Are you fucking serious? This is the real kicker here, right? Okay, so... Core, which is Xbox Live Gold. So let's 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 get the chart. Let's get the fucking Microsoft Paint chart out. Okay. So let's correct this. Okay. So here's how this is gonna work, right? There, you see that? There it is. There, there we go, fixed. Okay, so your Xbox Live Gold, which is now going to be called Core, right? Um, you get online console multiplayer. Okay, that shit should be free. Okay, you've gone multi. Re you've got PC now, right? Right, you've got PC. It's here, right? So why are we paying to play online if you if you don't have to do that on PC? Okay, so you're discriminating against console gamers. This here is discrimination. That's what this is. Discrimination there, right? Xbox says it's against discrimination. There's your discrimination right there. Okay. That's discrimination. For choosing to buy their console, they discriminate against you. Because you have to pay to play online, right? But you, you play on PC. That's not their dedicated hardware. You don't get discriminated against for that. You only get discriminated against if you play console, right? Okay. 25 quality games. Okay. Well, they're not quality games. So we can fucking eliminate that. Because we've just established that most of them are not quality games. And the ones that are, you probably already fucking own. Because they're not expensive to buy. Right? Member deals and discounts. Okay, so you get to spend more money. Well, that's not... that's You get member deals and discounts across all the tiers. Okay, so you get you get to, like, spend more money. Great. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, so you can spend, spend one pound more, get no online access, which makes perfect sense. Okay, so, so basically, this is what was originally the original game pass so this is original game pass here as it first launched that's game pass right so all they've done is change the name of things right so that's game pass so how does this now work because this is now core and this is now whatever the fuck that was what was it console right core and console right so how do you now you so you're saying it's not Xbox Live Gold, but yet if you go to this, does this now upgrade from this? But if it upgrades from that, you're going to lose that. So what happens is it convert to Ultimate. This doesn't make sense, okay? So I'm guessing you can run these two subscriptions at the same time. Why you would do that, I don't know, because that would be more than this. Again, it doesn't make sense, okay? This this tier here, this entire tier, is a complete waste of time and doesn't make sense from start to finish okay new so new games on day one right okay but no online all right what do we get on this tier no online retards can't use that word because I might post this on Twitter later. No online goofballs. So this whole tier is a complete waste of time. Right there. It doesn't matter if you got hundreds of high quality games. It doesn't matter if you got member discounts. It doesn't matter if you get games on day one. Because there is no online. No online. Right? So this whole tier is dead because you're going to want to play online. You're going to want to play online. It's as simple as that. You're going to want to do that. Who is going to get all these games and not want to play online? Nobody. So we've established this, right?
So then we, again, we're discriminated against again because PC get online. So here we go. It should be red. Free online. And EA Play. Again, this has already been a thing, but let's just fucking go over it again, because it's a fucking joke, right? EA Play membership. You don't even get any EA Play membership with this one. You're paying more. Right? You are paying more for less. Twice on console, more for less, right here. Discrimination, discrimination. And discrimination. Right here. So ultimate So the only thing you're getting is online console multiplayer. That's the only difference between Ultimate and PC Game Pass. That's it. That's all you're getting. You're not getting anything else. Look at it, read it, understand it. You see it? So where where is the win here? Lower price. What was this one called? Lower price for PC Game Pass than Ultimate and console. There it is. Okay. Not to mention... Not to mention, they just changed it so you can't do the fucking gold deal right before all this kicked off, right? So they inevitably, that's why they did it. Stop people doing that. Okay. This is horrendous, okay? This is discrimin discrimination against console players. There's no way around it, okay? Console players have to pay $16.99 a month and PC players have to pay $9.99 a month for the same fucking benefits. Console players have to pay £10 a month for way less than PC gets. But it's the great best deal in gaming. For who exactly? For PC gamers? And you want us to like these people. You want us all to fucking hold hands like fucking hippies and sing in happy families that, oh, PC are our friends. PC are shafting us they're getting all the benefits without paying for it that's a fact what is the situation here who gives a fuck about game pass there's no fucking games coming xbox has no fucking games they've got starfield and that's it and what's coming next any of these shitty games fable perfect dark if i really want perfect dark i just buy the fucking game you ain't even got any games. You've got nothing. You've got no fucking exclusives. No fucking nothing. 
And buying Activision isn't going to change that because I don't give a rat's ass about 95% of Activision games anyway. Or Blizzard's fucking games. I don't care. So how's that going to help? Who's that helping? You could still buy Call of Duty on PlayStation. You just announced a 10-year deal. How? Where's the benefit of Game Pass? Okay? This is a waste of time. This is a... I'm not going to put lines through them because I might post this. This is a waste of time, man. The only thing... The only thing you're going to do is buy your fucking regular shit, right? Just to play online. Because it's like... It's like a fucking TV license. It's like... It's just money for old fucking rope. That's what it is. It's money for old rope. We all know that. We all knew that from the beginning. But it's like... Well, you got to do it. But why Why would I pay Ultimate? Why would I pay for Ultimate knowing that PC is getting it for less? Why, why would I do that? I'm going to get the lowest price that I can, so I can just play. That's it. Which means I'm going to go over here. But then they're still going to include me in Game Pass. Oh, you're in Game Pass now because... You do, no, you're not. This is Xbox Live Gold right here. This is Xbox Live Gold. That's what they're doing there. It's the biggest load of bullshit I've ever seen, man. Feel free to subscribe. I'll see you later. Whether you're a console gamer, a PC gamer, or both, we are committed to delivering the experience you expect from Microsoft and Windows and Windows 10. Windows 10. Any Windows 10 device and Windows 10 with Windows 10. Coming to Windows 10 and on Windows 10. Xbox Live on Windows 10 and Windows 10. Windows 10 and Windows 10. And Windows 10. Windows 10 user. And Windows 10. And Windows 10. And Windows 10. And Windows 10 with Xbox Live as well. And Windows 10. So on Windows 10 as well. To Windows 10. And Windows 10. Of Windows 10. Windows 10. Windows 10 and Windows 10. Windows 10 is Windows 10. Windows 10 and Windows 10. Windows 10 on Windows 10. Windows 10 to Windows 10. Windows 10. Windows 10. The Windows 10 edition, and Xbox and Windows, Windows 10 on Xbox and Windows. And Windows 10. Enjoy. Windows 10. This is the future of gaming at Microsoft.